when we look at life, especially when you are a young person, before you every day are choices that you have to make. The choices that you make daily have capacity to build you or to break you. The choices that you make have capacity to lift you or to pull you down. Every day you are faced with one of the most important and precious gifts God has given you, and that is the power of choices. Now, I said to you last time that any instruction by God is for your lifting. Any, any instruction by the devil is for your destruction. I repeat that. Any instruction by God is for your lifting. It's for your promotion. It's for your prosperity. Any instruction by Satan is for your destruction. When it comes to choices, understand this. Nobody can choose for you. What we can do is to encourage you, is to guide you, is to give you information that will help you to make wise decisions so that you can have a brighter future. You guys are blessed. You are prayed for. You are being prayed through. And we know God brought you here because you have a great destiny. There's something awesome that God wants to do through your life in the future. When you are still at this level, it's almost as if you will never amount to anything. But that is the lie of the devil. You will be what God has called you to be. Say amen right there. Amen. So never undermine the power of choices. The choices we make will determine the future we will possess. The choices we make will determine the future we will possess. If we make wrong choices, we will have wrong future. If we make right choices, we will automatically have a right and a glorious future. All the young people that we see in the Bible had to make choices. I'll give you an example. In the life of Joseph, he lived among what the Bible calls the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah. Seemingly, he lived among brothers who were evildoers. The Bible says he told his father about their evil report. Because they were not doing right. But Joseph made up his mind that I'm going to live right. Despite what other people are doing. You ought to come to that position as well. Where you say to yourself, even if other people choose to live lives which does not glorify God. I am determined. I tell myself that I'm going to live right. Even if other people are doing things which does not bring glory to God. I tell myself that I will live a life that will glorify God. Listen to this young person. You will be a young person once in your lifetime. Once you lose this moment, there's no turning back. And if you tell yourself that I want to live for God, God will honor you. The Bible says, those who honor me, I will honor. And those who dishonor me, I will dishonor. God is straight when it comes to his principles. If you honor him with your youth life, he will honor you with a brighter future. If you represent the devil and do things which are not God blessing, you will harvest in that regard. And it is not the will of God that your future should be doomed. God wants our futures to be bright. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen. Before you sign out, would you mind to subscribe, click the notification button, drop your comment, like the video, and share. But also, Look at the 18 materials that the Lord has given me grace to contribute in the past two decades, both as written material and also music series, available for a very beautiful special gift. Thank you so much. Shalom and have a fruitful and a God fearing life. Oh, my God, Mandela. Oh,